So I heard you want to know what Hatsune Miku's puppy po vegetable juice would taste like in real life. Well, let's get into it. Before that, did you know that only 80% of those who watch my videos are actually subscribed? If you feel like it, why not subscribe? It's free, you can always unsubscribe anytime. Now to start off with, you have to find out what's actually in Miku's drink. And I did this by checking the video that goes with his song. Wow, who would've thought? Surprisingly, there's a lot of fruits in this vegetable juice, but before we go on, I do have to say that due to COVID, I wasn't able to get all of the ingredients, which is simply not available where I live. Fortunately though, I was able to get a mooli, which is also known as a daikon radish. There are many different ways we can juice this thing, but to begin with, let's just cut off the ends of it, just like that. Then we just start to peel the skin off the radish. Perfect. So there's three ways you can do it, and I'm going to show you each of the ways I know of. First off, we can grate this radish, which will give us a lot of juicy, pulpy goodness. Though it may be best to grate little bits of it first, it's quite flimsy. Other than that, we can also slice the mooli into thin little discs. Now both of those methods are perfectly good, and they will blend just fine. However, you can, if you're really weird, juice the radish with a juicer like you would a lemon. It's very hard to do, because the mooli is kind of like tough, but it's 100% possible. And for the record, we're only using a third of a radish in the drink. Next up, let's add the juices. There's apples and lemons in this drink, so let's add a healthy helping of both. Plop in five red grapes and half a banana to our little concoction here. Then chuck in some pre-cut orange and green bell peppers, along some broccoli, and sprinkle some carrots over the top. And for a finisher, let's put in an onion. Wait, what? Yeah, this has an onion in it. Don't know why, but it does. I can't imagine that tasting very well, so I'm only going to put a little tiny bit in. Blend on a high speed and strain it. We're making juice here, not a smoothie after all. Or you can use a juicer. I'm not rich enough for that though. And finally, there you are, Miku's Poke Poke Juice. Let's have a little drink here and see how it tastes. Ah uh, yeah, horrific. Perfect. Not only does it taste bad, it smells absolutely terrible. It doesn't even have a coherent taste. Well, let's see if we can salvage this potion of poison. And we'll do that by adding some strawberries, apple slices, and to keep the green coloration, some matcha powder. We'll do the same song and dance as before with the strain, and then down the hatch it goes. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's not, it's not good, but it ain't bad either. It tastes like a grandmother's garden with a hint of sweetness stopping it from being complete trash. But the smell though is somehow even worse. It genuinely caused my brother to gag walking into the kitchen. So, unfortunately, for the first time ever, I'm going to have to say to you guys to don't attempt this recipe. I know I'm a cooking show, but this came from a music video, man. Did you expect this to taste good? Just get an innocent smoothie. Like, seriously. Well, that was interesting. Honestly, I thought this would taste really good. Like a superfood or something like that. But as it turns out, you shouldn't get your recipes from Japanese idols. Anyways, let's go on to the real idols in our lives. You guys heard of Cryptic? This guy makes some tight music, I'm not even going to lie. Blade in these streets is such a banger. But yeah, that's all I got. Alright, join my Discord. See ya.